Stick your pet name on a signboard forever. All over going west, young man, tin text, jabberack, certainty overall at land sake. Under the new playbill ripped in the guaranteed corner, Seabert Williams wet minstrels when you steal a chicken, just save me the wind. For if it isn't eerie, it ain't for miles around a Mazda, and the telegraphic night coming on Thomas A. Ediford, and whistling down the tracks, a headlight rushing with the sound. Can you imagine? Mon Express makes time like science, commerce and the Holy Ghost. Radio roars in every home. We have the North Pole, Wall Street, and virgin birth without stones or wires or even running brooks. Connecting ears and no more sermons, windows, flashing roar. Breathtaking as you like it, eh? So, the 20th century, so is the limited Roared by the left three men, still hungry on the tracks, ploddingly watching the taillights wizen and converge, slipping gym-lidded and neatly out of sight. The last bear, shot drinking in the Dakotas, loped under the wires that span the mountain stream. Keen instruments, to a vast precision, bind town to town and dream to ticking dream. But some men take their liquor slow and count, though they'll confess no rosary, no clue. The river's minute by the Farbrook's year, under a world of whistles, wires, and steam, caboose-like they go ruminating through Ohio, Indiana, blind baggage, to Cheyenne tagging, maybe Kalamazoo. Times rendings, times blendings they construe, as final reckonings of fire and snow, strange bird wit like the elemental gist of one-walled winds they offer. Singing low, my old Kentucky home and Casey Jones, some sunny afternoon I heard a road gang chanting so, and afterwards... Who had a colt's eyes once said, Jesus, oh, I remember watermelon days, and sped high in a cloud of merriment, recalled, and when Aunt Sally Simpson smiled, he drawled, it was almost Louisiana long ago. There's no place like Boonville, though, buddy, one said, excising a last burr from his vest for early trouting, then peering in the can, but I kept on the tracks, possessed, resigned. He trailed the fire down pensively and grid, spreading the dry shingles of a beard. Behind my father's cannery works, I used to see rail squatters ranged in nomad raillery, the ancient men, wifeless or runaway, hobo trekkers that forever search an empire wilderness of freight and rail. Each seemed a child like me on a loose perch, holding to childhood like some termless play. John, Jake, or Charlie, hopping the slow freight, Memphis to Tallahassee, riding the rod, blind fists of nothing, Humpty Dumpty cloth. Yet they slouch something like a key, yet they touch something like a key, perhaps. From pole to pole across the hills, the states, they know a body under the wide range. Youngsters with eyes like the George, old reprobates with racetrack jargon, dotting immensity, they lurk across her, knowing her yonder breast, snow-silvered, sumac-stained, or smoky blue, is past the valley sleepers, south or west, as I have had trod the rumorous midnights too, and past the circuit of the lamp's thin flame, O oh, nights that brought me to her body bare, have dreamed beyond the print that bound her name. Trains sounding the long blizzards out, I heard wail into distances I knew were hers. Papooses crying on the wind's long mane, screamed redskin dynasties that fled the brain, dead echoes. But I knew her body there, time like a serpent down her shoulder, dark and space and eagless wing laid on her hair. Under the Ozarks, domed by iron mountains, the old gods of the rain lie wrapped in pools where eyeless fish curvet a sunken fountain and redescend with corn from querulous crows. Such pilferings make up their timeless eatage, propitiate them for their timber torn. By iron, iron, always the iron dealt cleavage, they doze now below axe and powder horn.
and Pullman breakfasters glide glistening steel from tunnel into field, iron strides the dew, straddles the hill, a dance of wheel on wheel. You have a half hour's wait at Siskiyou. Or stay the night and take the next train through, southward near Cairo passing, you can see the Ohio merging borne down Tennessee. And if it's summer and the sun's in, in dusk, Maybe the breeze will lift the river's musk, as though the waters breathe that you might know Memphis, Johnny, Steamboat Bill, Missouri Joe. Oh, lean from the window. If the train slows down, as though you touched hands with some ancient clown, a little while gaze absently below, and hum deep river with them while they go. Yes, turn again and sniff once more. Look, see. O oh, sheriff, brakeman, and authority. Hitch up your pants and crunch another quid, for you two feed the river timelessly, and few evade full measure of their fate. Always they smile out eerily what they seem. I could believe he joked at heaven's gate. Dan Midland jolted from the cold brake beam. Down. Down. Born pioneers in times despite rim tributaries to an ancient flow. They win no frontier by their wayward flight, but drift in stillness as from Jordan's brow. Oh, lean from the window if the train slows down, as though you touched hands with some ancient clown. A little while at gaze absently below and hum deep river with them while they go. Yes, turn again and sniff once more. Look, see, O oh, Sheriff Brakeman and Authority, hitch up your prance and crunch another quid, for you two feed the river timelessly, and few evade full measure of their fate. Always they smile out eerily what they seem. I could believe he joked at heaven's gate. Dan Midland jolted from the cold brake beam. Down, down, born pioneers in times despite. Grime tributaries to an ancient flow. They win no frontier by their wayward flight, but stiff, but drift in stillness as from Jordan's brow. You will not hear it as the sea. Even stone is not more hushed by gravity, but slow. As loath to take more tribute, sliding prone, like one whose eyes were buried long ago. The river spreading flows and spends your dreams. What are you lost within this tideless spell? You are your father's father. And the stream. A liquid beam that floating niggers swell. Damp tonnage and alluvial march of days. Nights turbid, vascular with silted shale, and roots surrendered down the moraine clays. The Mississippi drinks the farthest dale, a quarrying passion under toad sunlight. The bezelt surface drags a jungle grace, operas and lynx bard in lengthening might. Patience, and you shall reach the biding place. Over DeSoto's bones, the freighted floors, rub past the city storied of three thrones. Down two more turns, the Mississippi pours, anon tall ironsides up from salt lagoons, and flows within itself, keeps itself free. All fade, but one thin skyline round. Ahead, no embraces, no embrace opens but the stinging sea. The river lifts itself from its long bed, poised wholly on its dream, a mustard glow, tortured with history, its one will flow. The passion spreads in wide tongues, choked and slow, meeting the gulf, hosannas silently below. <laughs>